How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today guys I'll be listing all my favorite guns that I've been using this season and that I will be using next season. And you should probably try them out too. And uh, that's the reason I made up this list so make sure you enjoy this content and subscribe to my channel because why not. First on the list we have Divinity. It's an exotic trace rifle obtained from Garden of Salvation Raid Quest and obviously it's an exotic and it's on secondary slot. The main perk of this gun is basically if you shoot an enemy constantly, you will create a crit spot bubble that enemies, or not enemies, your allies can shoot and obviously deal loads of damage on uh, the single target. As you can see, the bubble is there and after some time it does explode, dealing some amount of damage to the target. This weapon also comes built in with uh, the unstoppable rounds to destroy those nightmares. It's very good gun for raids as well as strikes. Second on the list we have Izanagi's Burden. It's a primary sniper rifle obtained from Lock and Key Quest that you can obtain on Earth. It's a black armory weapon, so you will need Forsaken to obtain this weapon. The main perk of this gun allows you to merge 4 bullets into one and shooting it with a target obviously and dealing a great amount of damage. This gun is one of the best guns in the game, used mainly in raids by raid groups and uh, you should definitely have this if you're going for the next season. Next on the list we have Leviathan's Breath, which is a heavy bow for heavy slots, obtained during the season of, of um, dying. I'm not sure if you will be able to obtain it during the next season, which is Season of Dawn, but this gun is definitely powerful, and the main perk allows you to basically knock down enemies if the bow is fully drawn. It one-shots most of the enemies. Next on the list we have Ariana's Vow. It's a secondary uh, hand cannon with a scope and it's obtained basically from the season pass during Season of the Undying. This gun will be eventually available to all players in uh, future seasons. I'm not sure if it's going to be available in Season of Dawn. For sure it's not going to be, be available at the beginning of the season. This gun is extremely powerful Although there's no really big use for it in PvE or PvP in a great role, this gun is definitely worth it and uh, it does great amount of damage if two shots in Crucible. And I mean, I would mainly use it for Crucible. The catalyst for this weapon is really pain to get so this gun is good but it's not highly recommended. It is one of my favorites from this season though. So I could not go anywhere without this gun called Recluse. It's a pinnacle weapon, secondary SMG, obtained from a crucible quest that obtained from Shax. This gun is something. As you can see, it shreds enemies in PvE, and as you can guess, it will be, and is still, good in PvP. It will be nerfed next season, but I don't think this gun is going to be nerfed to the ground. It's still going to be awesome. Next on the list we have Anarchy, obtained from Scourge of the Past Raid from Black Armory. You will need Forsaken to get this gun. Main perk allows you to do overtime damage with the arc bullets that you fire with your Anarchy. You can also chain the grenades, allowing you to make traps that will set up once enemies pass through them. This gun is extremely good and also really underrated. Uh, this gun is... it does loads of damage and as you can see I can... Uh, uh, merge the bullets and uh, basically connect them to one and you can do it up to six bullets. With only two bullets I can kill this giant ogre. Last on the list I got Randy's Throwing Knife which is a fast firing scout rifle for a primary slot obtained from Crucible Quest from Season of the Undying. This quest should not be going away anywhere and it will be available in all seasons and next season also and I highly recommend this gun to everyone. While this weapon could be pain in the ass to get, it took me about maybe 3-4 days in total of grinding PvP and momentum control. This gun is totally worth it and it shreds enemies in PvE and PvP. Highly recommend it guys. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and the list I made up. Make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.